Så där, nu träffar vi uh, European Poker Tours Tournament Director Mr. Thomas Kremser här som har lovat att sjunga lite för oss på svenska. How is things Thomas and how is it going with the Swedish? My Swedish is a little bit rusty. I spent some time in Austria in a ski area where was was I had a lot of Swedish guys there. So I only lo- learned the stupid things. You don't want to hear this now. <laughs> okay, tell us a little bit about European Poker Tours stop here in London. Um, what can I tell you? We have a very successful stop here because we are in a nice venue. Players appreciate it. It's nice and big. Um, it's focused on poker only, no other games. So it's good for the poker player. Um, we have a lot of players. First day was very good, 305 starters. Um, we are doing well and are looking forward to the coming days. What is your assumption on the total number of, of entries on this year's uh, London EPT? Uh, here in London, we're going to exceed the 600 player level. Um, we've been a little bit down in uh, Barcelona compared to the year before, but it's had other reasons because there were two big tournaments at the same time. Um, other than that, I think we're going to have the same numbers and I th- I'm pretty sure we're going to grow again with the EPTs for Season 6. I must say, you must live an interesting life, traveling all over Europe and organizing poker tournaments like this. How is it? Can you have a a normal life uh, back home? Um, It sounds more uh, interesting than it is at the end. I'm doing now season six, so I'm traveling a lot. Um, I'm in many different countries and uh, different cities. But at the end, my job is reduced to be in the poker room. So I arrive here in London, I'm eight days, and I'm not probably not going to leave the hotel for eight days. And when I'm finished, I go straight back home, spend some days at home, go to the next tournament. So being in all these places uh, means I see the airports, I see the hotels and poker rooms, go straight back home. So it's interesting. It sounds more interesting than it actually is, I have to say. How is your own how's your own poker game? Do you play a lot yourself? Um I play I like to play poker. I like to play tournaments, so I feel really comfortable on both sides of the table. Um fortunately I'm very busy these days, traveling a lot, working a lot, so my playing is reduced. I don't get much time to play. Um if I get a chance I can play two, three tournaments a year because having said that I'm traveling a lot being at home I need my time to rest because it's very tiring uh, physically uh, to run a tournament week it's like 12 14 hours every day so being playing a tournament means I'm again in a poker room for many hours so having said that I'm I'm I would like to play much more these days but it's not possible and I'm looking forward to the time to come where I can sit at the poker table again and play a little bit more than now as stated, you, you have been all across the Europe many, many times and uh, you must be a good judge of the poker climate in Europe. Uh, how, how, how is uh, things going for poker in Europe right now? In which, in which uh, way? Just the, the climate of poker, is it rising or is, is it going back? Or You mean the business, of, uh, the business format? Um, I see poker still growing. It's, 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 it's still increasing the numbers of tournaments are increasing number of players are increasing but there will be a certain point where it's gonna be this gonna stop now i can see the more and more tournaments are organized so the tournament is split in between different uh, tournaments that happen at the same time it's so difficult these days to actually find the right time the right week to organize a new tournament because the tournament calendar is so crowded so having said that it's it's still busy but it's not not every tournament gonna gonna increase the numbers because there are too many tournaments these days but poker in general is increasing which is good you get new players new money in circulation uh, in the live tournaments in Europe so it's still very popular and it's gonna take on for the next Yes, I hope so. Uh, you always work with developing the tour and, and to, to make it more interesting for players. What's the future looking for for the European Poker Tour? What, what's the new incentives that you're going to do, for example, 2010 and, and forward? Um, the EPT tries to put in more different games, like uh, we introduce Omaha games as a regular next to the main event. We introduce ladies events. 
uh, we introduce here, like in, in London, we introduce the eight game, which has never been offered outside of the World Series in a big tournament. And it proves to be very popular. Also, the six marks no limit hold'em is a new format which is accepted very well by the players. So, beside the main event, we try to give more other options to play. So, main event is expensive. Uh, we may not forget 5,000 euro, 5,000 pound, 8,000 euro. Barcelona is a lot of money. So, but offering these additional side events uh, uh, creates interest for players that just come for the side events. If they get a chance to win the seat through the satellites, they play it in the main event. But if not, they have other many options on the side events. So, offering these additional tournaments it creates more interest, and I think this uh, creates more interest in the tour at all. Okay, thank you very much, Thomas, for an interesting discussion. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next stop on the European Poker Tour. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket.